Uh, okay, you guys, we have something really important to talk about. Hello, you guys. I'm back. Pink on pink. This is too much. Did I ever tell you guys I really like the color pink? Pink, baby pink, baby yellow, and baby green. It's probably pastels in general. Not the topic of today. Uh, today's topic is one of the most difficult topics in maybe ever uh, since civilization became a thing. It is incredibly detailed, it is incredibly nuanced, there's so many factors. I am definitely not an expert in this. I know I've talked about it in very small amounts on my channel in the past. Just because I think it's such a goliath of a topic uh, with so many facets that it's very easy to lose the nuance for the sake of your standpoint and just to not consider certain aspects that also matter uh, and really I don't know if there is a complete truth to this topic but it is a topic that is very relevant these days uh, you guys know that the elections are coming up go Trump <laughs> and it's a very important hot topic um, topic hot topic topic uh, that's right now really especially during election years but especially in the Western world has become a very very debated um, where a lot of people are drawing you know this is the hill that they're gonna die on and it's also kind of a topic that's relevant to me with my current living situation. And this topic is... Um, 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 drum roll. Oh no, you see my dirty socks. Oh no, those are my house shoes. Oh yeah, my dirty socks are here. <laughs> uh, topic is immigration. Doo -doo -doo. Should I edit? Should I attempt to edit and put immigration between my hands? I'll forget. Um, yeah. Immigration. Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Is it a necessary thing? How should we feel about it? Are immigrants bad? Are immigrants good? Are they, do they, do they, does diversity help a culture or does it take away from a culture? You know, and it's, it's a topic that right now is in the news a lot. Uh, not only in the US, but also here in Australia and also in Germany. And um, we are, these countries are all seeing different types of immigrants so what is being discussed and such is completely different obviously i'm living here in australia as an immigrant to this country and i have to tell you the visa process was such a pain in the bleep <laughs> such a pain in the bleep for this country I'm a little bit spoiled, you know, I have a very, very strong passport, and I have to say that all the other countries that I've lived in, they welcomed me with open arms, so it's it's been quite a challenge here in Australia where that hasn't been the case. Uh, but yeah, all these things kind of just made me want to maybe just have like a little bit of a dialogue with you guys in terms of... Immigration, what's going on? How do we feel about it? Is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Um, what are some aspects we should consider? Uh, so, you know, basically, we, in 2024, we're looking at a situation where we obviously have countries that have a lot of people trying to immigrate to, and we have a lot of countries that people are trying to leave. And the countries that people are trying to go to, you know, generally first world, so we've got USA, Canada, Western Europe, Australia, I would probably even say Japan, but Japan is, has a really strong immigration policy that doesn't really let a lot of people in. And 
you know, then we have all the countries where people are trying to leave, you know, most, lot, South America, although I feel like that's kind of balanced itself out a little bit now, but a lot of people trying to immigrate from the Middle East and Africa, especially in Europe, Germany being one of those countries where we're just getting a huge influx of immigrants from places like Africa and the Middle East. And what is the solution here, right? So let me start by saying that I have always had a rather liberal viewpoint of immigration and not to upset my American viewers, but especially for a country like America. Uh, to me, America is a immigration country. Obviously, maybe Native Americans would argue that. <laughs> but America, Canada, maybe even Australia, like these to me are not... I really have to be careful now because obviously they have indigenous people that are from these countries. But to me, these are like immigration countries for really the length of their history. They predominantly have always survived off of immigration. They have a lot of immigration. So I've always had a very liberal policy. Is it gross here? Is out there? You see my shoes? Let me have my shoes. Uh, I've always had a pretty liberal policy about these countries accepting immigrants. I Because I've always seen it as a little bit of hypocrisy that a country that basically existed off of immigration and open, mostly open immigration for, let's say, 150 years of its becoming a nation to now turn around and all of a sudden be like, okay, but now we got everything we want and no more can come in. So that always kind of bugged me a little bit. Um, and in terms of also being pretty liberal about immigration is the fact that I do believe every human on this earth has the right to try to make the best out of their life that they can. And for a lot of people, actually for the vast majority of the world, those opportunities are not in their home countries, right? It's just the chances of somebody, unless you're really part of the top 1%, if you're born in a place like Central Africa or, I don't know, Afghanistan, I don't know, Venezuela or something, your chances of even just achieving what we would probably consider lower middle class, which is very comfortable living, by the way, compared to a lot of other parts of the world. Yeah, I, I guess I've always kind of felt like everybody has the right to try to make the best out of their life that they can. And if that means you need to try to immigrate to a country that can give you more opportunities and benefits then that is an option that should be available to you. Third thing to fight that argues for immigration for me is, and this is the part that's really going to upset the people who are more conservative on my channel, which at this point is probably most of you. Um, I always say I think we, I don't think especially white people around the world, I don't think we have to apologize for our history. I, uh, I can also say I feel no white shame and no white guilt and I don't owe anybody anything because I'm white and potentially my ancestors did something bad to them. No, I don't care. That's not my problem. I don't owe you anything. Uh, at the same time, I think it's also not correct to not acknowledge history. And we do have to acknowledge the fact that due to Europe industrializing way sooner than a lot of other parts of the world and then being capable of colonizing other countries and 
there was a lot of havoc that was created during that time due to European settlements and such. And I do have to say, I can understand, I don't know if I fully agree with it, but at least I can say I understand the argument that, okay, you colonized us and you robbed us of our own natural resources and you forced your own personal religion on us and you changed, tried to change your culture and make us adapt to your rules. And then when colonization was no longer in style and you guys just left and left us completely bankrupt and not being able to figure our stuff out anymore, uh, and you went back to the wealth that you robbed of us. I can understand that argument, and I think it's something that does need to be acknowledged. I mean, this is just simply historic truth, right? So, these are like things where I kind of feel like... Oh, actually, there's a fourth thing. And a fourth thing that I think does argue for immigration is the fact that we also have to say that most Western cultures are really not having children at the rate of replacing replacement i think is that what you call it so like i know germans aren't having enough children the japanese are definitely not having enough children the koreans right um and frankly a lot of these countries have at some point in time actually even invited immigrants in because we didn't have enough people and not only did we not have enough people to fill all the jobs that we needed filled, let's be honest. The average Westerner, especially Western European, American, Canadian, they think they're too good for a lot of jobs. I mean, I'm here in Australia saying I'm totally okay with being... Actually, I never told you guys this, but when I first got to Australia, I... <laughs> I was actually talking to somebody and I don't know how much of this story I'm allowed to tell. Let's just say like I was talking to them about something that I and they were kind of very shocked that I as a white person would be willing to do something like this. They're kind of like, oh, really? You're willing to do that? <laughs> like, um, And I do think that a lot of white people nowadays westerners i shouldn't say white people but westerners definitely think they're too good to be taxi drivers they're too good to be bus drivers they're too good to be cleaners right these things are beneath us and you know we bring in people from other parts of the world where for them the opportunity to live in the western world is worth way more than what we would consider the shame of being you know, a janitor or something. So I think these are all really legitimate arguments that we have to consider when we say, okay, is immigration a good thing or a bad thing or should it be acceptable or not? <sighs> However, there's just no way I can cover all the nuance on this topic. However, I think there's a couple of things that especially in western cultures due to our history of colonization or whatever it might be slavery um the holocaust whatever i think we have become a people of no backbone you know white people around the world we've become so apologetic this constant like oh i'm so sorry for being white i'm a horrible person i'm scum and oh I, I should be so ashamed of my history i already told you guys i don't believe in any of that i'm not responsible for what anybody else did i'm not even responsible for what my parents did let alone people who lived 150 years ago so to me that's completely ridiculous i feel no shame in being german i feel no shame in being white i feel no shame in being a man um and you're not going to get me to feel shame for any of those things. But there does the vast majority of Westerners do seem to nowadays align with this idea that because we were such bad people in the past, we now have to overcompensate all the time, all the time. So we have to just allow open immigration everything we have to not only do we have to allow open immigration we also have to allow whoever comes into our country to hold on to their own language to hold on to their own culture to hold on to their own religion to hold on to their own beliefs you know heaven forbid then we actually you know 
say anything about these things are not acceptable where we're from because oh my god you're a racist you're a nazi you're an oppressor you know how dare you say these things why how dare you try to make it seem like your culture is better than ours and this is where i think immigration has one is one what, where we see one of the biggest problems of immigration these days. I still think immigration is not a bad thing. What is a huge problem, though, in the Western world is we, like I said, we lack the backbone to say, yes, you can come to our country, but you will follow our way of life. You don't like it in Bangladesh. You don't like it in Pakistan. You don't like it in Venezuela. You don't like it in Laos. You don't like it in China. That's fine. But when you come, let's say me from Germany, but you, when you come to Germany, you learn German. You follow our holidays. If you want to be religious, you're going to go to a Catholic or a Protestant church because our country, that is our culture. That is how things work. You follow the rules of the culture that is ours. These are the way that these things work, you know, and we, because of our history, we're so fearful to say this. We're just like, no, that's not right. That's not fair. Blah, 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 blah. We now have this influx of immigrants that don't follow our cultural norms. And it's really tearing Western society apart because it doesn't work. You can't, again, I'm going to speak more about Germany here because I know a little bit more about that. Um, in Germany, we have let in, in the since probably around 2015 or so, we have let in so many Muslims from ranging from Afghanistan to Syria, Lebanon, and there is no requirement for them to apply to our cultural norms. I was talking to one of my students here actually, uh, and I told her that when I was a kid, so I don't know how many of you guys know anything about German history, but right after World War II, right, there, everything was in shambles, and we needed really quickly to build everything up. And actually, Germany did invite a large amount of guest workers from Greece and also from Turkey, very much from Turkey. Uh, Turkey also being a Muslim country. And, but, so even in my very small town, I had probably like five or six Turkish students in my school. But I can tell you right now, growing up, Except for maybe a grandmother here or there, you never, ever, ever saw a woman in hijab, in covering. It just, you just did not see it in Germany. It just was not a thing. Now, the last time I was in Germany last year, even in my town, there is women that are like full covered walking around the street. It's become actually a common thing. And I'm sorry, I know this is going to rub a lot of people the right way. I don't think it should be allowed. I don't think it should be allowed. When you immigrate to a country, you have to start following their rules. If you don't want to, if, if, if you have the choice, you don't have to immigrate, right? So if you are from a place, Saudi, Iran, Afghanistan, Pakistan, where people are very religious and you believe women should be covered, and then Germany says, well, we are opening up our borders for whatever, a thousand people. You can apply to come, but you have to follow our rules. If you say, I'm sorry, I don't want that because I want my wife or my daughter. I want her to cover up because that's part of our faith. Then you don't go. You just don't go. That's just the, like, I, I don't, under, I, I think this is something that is very frustrating for me. Having now traveled to about 117 countries. I've lived in, what, like 11 countries in my life. No country that is not part of the Western world 
plays these games. When I when I lived in Azerbaijan, I was expected to follow the rules and the norms and the cultures of Azerbaijan. When I lived in Saudi, I was expected to follow the rules and customs of, of Saudi. When I lived in Tanzania, I was expected to follow the rules and the customs of Tanzania. So, like, even in places like Thailand, you know, like we were told how we were allowed to dress, how we were allowed to act. Um, so I think it's just, I don't think it works more than anything else. I just don't think it, it's not working. It's not working. The Western world is on a, at the brink of collapse and it's not working because of this weird idea that we have that you can just bring your culture with you and act according to your culture and then the, the society that was built that is functioning in a way that you actually want to be part of it it, it, it it's just a nonsensical argument um and i honestly would probably argue that any immigrant that wants to go to a country but not follow the culture and norms of that country doesn't legitimately want to be a part really want to live there or believes in the dream of it you know i would think again like i i am blessed in the fact that i was born in germany and it is an economically strong country i don't think it's going to last much longer that's a different topic for itself but if you as somebody from Africa, from the Middle East, from South America, whatever. If you see in the news, wow, look, Germans really have their, their shit together and things are working and everything's so organized and blah, blah, blah. I want to go there. Well, then I would think that somebody who legitimately values these things and sees the value in these things and thinks that this is a great thing would say, wow, I should go there and adopt this same way of thinking and acting because clearly it shows results and not be like well in my country whatever country we're talking about now we don't trust anybody we don't give out loans we you know we don't allow people to buy on time or anything like that because we don't trust anyone to do to pay us back we're always only looking out for ourselves um well yeah and in your country nothing works now, again, I know to some degree it's there's historical context, but here's the part where everyone's going to blow up <laughs> who watches my channel. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry because it is the simple truth. I've told you guys before, I don't care so much about my likability. I don't care so much about my popularity. What I do care about is telling people the truth. And again, I have been exposed to enough cultures around the world. I'm sorry, I'm not going to play that game. Not all cultures are the same. It, they're just not. They are not. There's, I'm not saying that a different culture, everything about it has to be bad. But for us to act as if people from Europe or North America or Japan, maybe Korea that they don't have a different work ethic and a different way to go through life in terms of organization, punctuality, that they don't have these things and that these are not at least at least as important to their success as their so and so their quote unquote horrible past I think is literally walking through life with your hands over your face. That's just the simple fact. I'm sorry. There Getting me in huge trouble. Africa, when I was in Africa, these people do not enjoy working. They don't. That's not to say that African people are bad. That's not to say that I don't like black people or whatever. They have other things that they do really well. They're very, you know, they're more family oriented. They're more like trying to work within their tribe or whatever. And these are also things that are great. But in terms of work ethic, it's not there. Same as the Middle East. I lived in Saudi Arabia for three years. These people don't want to work. They don't want to work. That's, and it, Or a different policy, the way they treat their women. I'm sorry, I know we have to live in this world where like, you can't judge other cultures. I'm sorry. Telling half of your population that they have no rights, 
that they shouldn't join the workforce, that they have to cover themselves up, that their opinions are only worth, what, a fourth of that of a man, that is a bad policy. And that keeps you in the past. That keeps you in an economy that doesn't work. I'm not going to play these games anymore and be like, oh, all, all cultures around the world are exactly the same level. And if we all just started off at the exact same level, then all of us would be at the... No, this is just not... This, it's just, this is just simple bullcrap that, that people, especially, especially Westerners, liberals, white, white middle class women, <laughs> have to tell themselves so that they can go around and be like, see, I'm one of the good people. I acknowledge that every culture in the world is amazing, except white people, because white people suck. White people are evil. All white people are horrible people. Um... <laughs> I'm like just I'm like remember I'm one of the good ones when the rapture comes remember I'm one of the good ones kill my neighbor you know he voted Trump but I'm a good one I yeah sorry you guys know I go on tangents and I get a little bit frustrated pretty quick I just feel like I don't again I don't think there's anything wrong with in uh, I and again I had a talk with um a student he's from Iran originally he immigrated here and even he told me like here in Australia how things are starting to fall apart because he's like they're bringing in a lot of people and they just don't have the same work ethic and they just don't have the same interest they want to live off of welfare they want to they want to get all these benefits because they think they're owed to them you know and we were we were kind of yeah, talking about just if if you if if the Western countries would have more of a backbone to where they would be willing to say we're willing to take immigrants with maybe these qualifications or we're willing to take a good chunk of immigrants from these countries. And I know this is going to get me in trouble again. Good countries. I don't think good countries. I don't think it's like bad or good countries. But countries that more align with our beliefs and our work ethics. And then you can also take people from cultures that are not as close to our own. But take smaller amounts of that. So like I, like I said, Germany now also, we have a lot of, we now have a lot of Indian immigrants. I love Indian immigrants. I love them. I love them here. I love them in the U.S. I love them, even Chinese immigrants. I actually love Chinese immigrants. They're hardworking. They, they, add, they, they end up, you know, creating their own businesses, enterprises. They're, they're helping build our country to make it stronger. And then there's other countries where we've got immigrants. They just aren't doing it. I don't want to say everybody. There's, of course, always exception to every rules. But there's other countries. We take their immigrants and we see crime rate go up. We see violence towards women and gay people go up. Um, a lot of these people, we see a lot of, oh, now he found themselves a German baby daddy. Baby daddy. Baby mama. And they found themselves a German baby mama. And now they're going to live off the German state and have six kids with this woman. Um people we need to stop we need to stop t doing this thing where we feel so bad about our history that we're unwilling to see reality we're we're we are so unwilling to see reality because we're so fearful of being canceled for being racist or homophobic or whatever that we are driving the the countries that are basically actually holding up the economies around the world into the ground just for the sake of us being able to say, well, I'm not racist. I'm one of the good ones. And I'm like, well, it's not going to help you when one day your economy goes belly up. Um, I don't know. So I want to know what you guys think, for, especially if you're in America and you're getting ready to vote. How important is the immigration topic to you? Do you think there is a good rate of immigration? Do you think immigration should be stopped? Do you think people should be sent home? Do you even think that's something that's possible? Which I don't know. 
do you think people when they immigrate they should be forced to follow the rules and the cultures of that country oh that was the thing I was, yeah like I said, it's, I, so it's just to me a little bit hypocritical, right? I go to Saudi, and when I was living in Saudi, I was told I couldn't even wear a cross because that's not their faith and that's not their belief. But even not my town, but the neighboring town, they already built a mosque. And I'm like, but Islam is not part of German history. So why should, I, I don't know. I'm like, if they want to follow Islam, you can, you do it at home. Same way I had to follow my faith at home. I couldn't do it in public because it's not part of our culture and our history. Um, we don't cover women. That's not a thing. I don't think that should be a thing anyway. I don't believe in that at all. I think this really reinforces this idea where it's like, you know, a good woman should cover herself because she doesn't want to get in trouble and she doesn't want to be judged and she doesn't want to tempt men. It's like, no, men should be raised to know that it's not okay to treat a woman badly depending on how she w dresses. What a complete, that, that, is, that is such crap. I'm sorry, this has a topic on it. So to me, that is one of the dumbest things I've ever heard anybody say. No. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, what do you guys think? What are your feelings? Are you as frustrated as me on this topic? There's obviously one million things I could have added or taken out. And like, like I said, it's so crazy nuanced. Give me feedback, give me comments. Tell me what you think. And be safe, you guys. And vote. Especially if you're going to vote Trump. If you plan on voting Kamala, then don't vote. <laughs> Alright, bye you guys.